Caesar's Legion, a brutal, backwards, totalitarian dictatorship based on large-scale slavery. A faction that was meant to be much larger and more complex with removed NPCs, areas, and voice lines. We'll start off by looking at one of the most badass characters in game, the Legate. When facing off with him in the final battle over Hoover Dam, Linnaeus actually was intended to have his own personal legion dogs assisting him in the fight, which would have made the encounter more challenging. Now, see what my hounds and my blade will bring to you. There's still dialogue in game where you can convince him to call off his hounds and fight you one on one. No, I shall make it a contest whether I can kill you before my hounds tear you apart. If you ever killed Caesar but still sided with the Legion, you would have encountered an ending slide showing the Legate crown as the new Caesar and entering New Vegas. What's weird about it is that the depicted Linnaeus is wearing the Centurion armor instead of his unique Legate armor. You can actually find this version of Linnaeus in-game with some unused generic voice lines that we never get to hear in the final release. A tribe called the Great Khans has joined us. They'd better be good fighters. Kaisar has been seen walking among the troops. A good omen. One of our agents successfully assassinated the NCR president. I can't believe Kaisar is dead. What will we do now? A road leading to Legate's camp. Originally there was a somewhat lengthy road connecting Hoover Dam to the Legion camp, but it ended up getting removed. Perhaps when siding against the Legion, the Courier was meant to encounter even more resistance there before entering the camp itself. A massive area of the Legion fort was also sealed off and cut, where you would have been able to find most of the Legionaries living and preparing for the battle ahead. The sheer size of the camp would have also emphasized Legion's true strength, that has many of the NCR and New Vegas residents frightened. At one point, Obsidian had planned to have a bunker near Cottonwood Cove, with different objects referring to it found in a geck. The bunker would have also had unique, irradiated rad roaches living in it. We can only speculate what was the bunker's intended purpose, but it's clear that it was somehow tied to the Legion camp, and thus the Legion itself. Malpai's Legion Camp is another cut location across the Colorado River, where most likely Joshua Graham, now known as the Burn Man, resided during the first Hoover Dam battle. If it was implemented, it would have probably served as a secondary, maybe supply camp for the frontline Legionaries. This could have also been a place to find out more about the legendary Malpai's Legate as well. Not much information of the camp can be found in the game data, so again we are left to speculate on what could have been. If you ever visited the fort, you'll find female slaves walking around the area with massive backpacks on their shoulders, with only one response available if you choose to interact with them. Excuse me. Whether by accident or not, we never get to hear all of the dialogue that was actually intended for these poor souls including voice lines for cut male slaves that were completely removed from the game and can only be found in the Gek. When traveling together with your companions, NPCs around the Mojave have different reactions to them. That was also the case for the slaves, reacting to Lily, Rex, Raul, and Eddie. What a strange floating robot. Is it useful for anything? How disgusting. You can see that strange mechanical mongrel's brain. What is that thing? I've never seen a blue mutant. Ugh, one of the burned people walks in our camp. If you're a woman courier, the male versions had a unique reaction to your gender and presence in the fort. You're a woman, and yet you wander free? Huh. You're a woman, and yet you wander free? Huh. While playing through the main questline, slaves would comment on the different choices and actions you take. For instance, if you chose to cure Caesar, they would say this. Caesar was ill. But now he lives. But if you killed him, they would whisper, It said that you were responsible for Kaisar's death. Destroying Legion's enemies and blowing up the Securetron bunker would also enable them to spread rumors and react to your service to Kaiser. The Legionaries are pleased. An enemy called the Brotherhood of Steel is dead. That was quite an explosion a while ago. We felt the ground shake. The Legion has won a great victory over the NCR at a place called Forlorn Hope. I've heard that a great enemy of the Legion was assassinated in New Vegas. 
Similar to what you can hear from the residents of Freeside, the slaves would also talk about the Lucky 38's reactor coming online and making the New Vegas Tower shine even brighter. The great tower of the enemy city blazes with light. What does it mean? Not all of their dialogue is about things happening around them. Some would also complain about their current conditions and life in the fort. The work never ends. My feet are killing me. So many tasks to attend to. I need to rest. Thanks to New Vegas' reputation system, slaves would react to your status with the Legion. If you're unliked or hated, they would say, The Legion hates you. Why do you come here? Please, I'll be in trouble if the Legionaries see you speaking to me. Be careful, or you'll end up being crucified. The Legionaries want to kill you. Please don't get me involved. If your reputation is mixed, Sometimes friends, sometimes foe. No one knows what to make of you. I've heard stories about you. No one knows what you'll do next. I'm not looking for trouble. You can ignore me. And if your reputation is positive, they would say, The Legionaries speak highly of you. I'm not worthy of your attention. It's an honor to be noticed by one so favored by the Legion. Someone as important as you noticing me? I'm flattered. Some of them would also spread rumors of Legion veterans and great cons arriving to join the final battle over Hoover Dam. I overheard some of the Legionaries say that more veterans from the Eastern Campaigns will be summoned to the fort. I've heard rumors that one of the tribes west of the river may join the Legion. A great battle is coming. Many veterans of the Legion have begun arriving from the East. The cut post-game world of Fallout New Vegas also intended to have Legion slaves there with unused reactions to either the victory of Mr. House or the NCR. The leader of New Vegas and his army of robots has defeated both the NCR and the Legion. What will happen now? This talk that many of the ranking Legionaries will be beheaded for allowing the NCR to defeat the Legion yet again. One cut voice line that I couldn't really get triggered in game is about the Great Khans going berserk at Hoover Dam and attacking both NCR and Legion in a last ditch effort to restore their tribe's dignity and pride. The Great Khans tribe went mad. During the battle at the dam, they attacked both the Legion and the NCR. Although somewhat minor, these cut voice lines would have added so much more life to the already gutted Legion faction. Let me know what you think of all this removed cut content. If you're interested in seeing what else was cut in this beloved Fallout game, check out my other New Vegas cut content videos for some never before seen characters, cutscenes, and gameplay. Thanks for watching.